Hey there, Edible Alchemy community. It's Alexis here in Crete, on Crete. And I'm just going to start these little video series each week to show you what I'm up to out here. Doing some traditional fermentation techniques, bringing all my cultures and pets here to see how they fare outside in this rural condition. So there's lots of fun things that we've started this week and I'll be dropping bits and bobs on this video and then next week a new video. I would totally suggest ask your questions because then I can answer them in the next week's videos and um, feel free to ask me things away. I'm here experimenting, working on my craft and learning from the locals. Later tonight I'll be going to a uh, Raki sort of Kazani thing where we are working with a cauldron. Kazani means cauldron and it's basically a distillation process of those wine skins making Raki and hopefully get to meet some cheese people, cheese guys, cheese mongers to get some cheese into my bones and learn the processes there. So yeah, feel free to ask any questions and I hope you enjoy these videos. They're really raw and what I'm up to here. So ask your questions, make your suggestions, make your comments and uh, every week will be something new. So enjoy. Good morning, alchemists. Here we are, Edible Alchemy on Creta in Greece. We're living a bit more rural nowadays, and I'm going to show you some of my setup. Today we're making sourdough pancakes. It's actually not as warm as you may think right now. It's pretty windy, so bear with me. So, good morning. Welcome to our outdoor kitchen. This is my setup. And just for fun, we have some sourdough pancakes going on and you can be really creative when you don't have too much going on. We have milk bottle, some milk, some Cornelius, some new flour, three eggs, salt, a little bit of sugar, and we're going to make some nice crepes out of those. And what else we have going on, just to keep you updated, what's happening with the Edible Alchemy is I picked some olives the other day talked to the neighbors, used my so, so Greek, and picked some of these nice olives. And I found out they have a lot of tannins. You can't just eat them like that. Ah, here's the wind. And so by picking those olives, you have to get rid of those tannins and um, soak them in water, change the water pretty much every day for the next two weeks, and then soak them in a salt brine and then let them sit. And you can kind of like taste them along the way, get familiar with the taste of olives, how are they, when they're kind of bitter, and then when they get to your best taste, then they're pretty much ready. You can put them with some olive oil then, or another fresh salt brine, but we're trying some traditional techniques of fermentation here. What else do I got going on here? Cornelius, um, washing situation, Got some water kefir going over here in the corner. Where is it? Oh, hiding. Let's see. Got some water kefir. Happy go lucky right there. And kombucha and June are brewing away happily. So keep up to date. I'm gonna make, be posting some of these videos once in a while just to keep you in the loop what's going on with Edible Alchemy. But for now, enjoy. The view. Also, I hope you enjoy the music. It is all originally recorded from the Kazani last night. There was so much activity. We were invited into this small cement building as if we were next door neighbors, even though we were unknown to pretty much everyone. By the end of the night, drinking Raki, we were friends with everybody and learned some Greek. So, really efficient system. They're distilling the wine grapes that they had made wine with before and in this kazani or this cauldron, using the coals to fry their meat on a sort of makeshift barbecue and the whole night is more meat, more food, uh, lots of Raki. Here's the distiller, 
They're checking the hydrometer, how alcoholic it is. And it should be around 20% when it's ready. So like a light schnapps. And here it is, abundant. Don't forget to keep in touch. I hope you enjoyed this first video of this sort of first week in Crete. And there's more to come just to keep you guys updated what's going on with edible alchemy on Crete. And I'll be hopefully building an underground fridge in the near future and trying to build my own makeshift bread oven with an old oil barrel or something like that. So send me your ideas, send me your suggestions and your questions or whatever else you want to know and definitely keep in touch. See you next episode.